Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a nice start of your week here. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. A lot of good action on the board here. Um, yeah, let's hope we can get some winners. Have a nice, productive day. Go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Support the channel. Check out all my links in the description below. Really good sports books and sports book offers to get you guys in on the action. So go ahead and check those out. And uh, yeah, you know, we'll hop into it here. 15 matchups, starting with the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Cincinnati Reds. Pitching for the Pirates is Will Crow with an ERA of 5.77. He's 4-7. and seven. Pitching for the Reds is Luis Castillo with an ERA of 4.08. He's 8-15. and 15. The Reds opening up as the favorite at minus 250. Pittsburgh plus 195 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Crow, he is 1-0, pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had five strikeouts. For Castillo, he is 1-0, pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, and had ten strikeouts. Yeah, you know, pretty big pi- price to pay for the Reds here at minus 250. But, uh, you know, they looked good in that first year- matchup there. Um and yeah, you know, Castillo has been good on the mound, going off a no hit game or a no run game, sorry. And uh, he's given up five runs in his last three starts combined. That's pretty solid here. Um, you know, Crow's given up 11 runs in his last three. Going to be giving up a lot of runs in this matchup here. Although I do think there's pretty good, decent plus money for the Pirates here. I like Castillo on the mound, and I'm going to roll with Cincinnati. Next matchup, we have the Chicago White Sox versus the Detroit Tigers. Pitching for the White Sox is Reynaldo Lopez with an ERA of 3.00. He's 3-3. Pitching for the Tigers is Casey Mize with an ERA of 3.64. He is 7-8. The White Sox opening up as the favorite at minus 157. Detroit plus 147 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Lopez, he's 0-1. Pitched four innings. Gave up six runs and had seven strikeouts. For Mize, he's 0-1. Pitched three innings. Gave up one run and had three strikeouts. Yeah, Detroit's been playing really good here. They're on a four-game win streak. White Sox, you know, they've taken, you know, just one and three in their last four here. Um, Yeah, I like like Detroit plus one and a half. Uh, Reynaldo Lopez coming off a six-run game. And uh, Casey Mize has been really good on the mound here. We'll take Detroit plus one and a half. Next matchup, we have the Kansas City Royals versus the Cleveland Indians. Pitching for the Royals is Carlos Hernandez with an ERA of 3.79. He's 6-2. Pitching for the Indians is Logan Allen with an ERA of 7.11. He is 1-7. Both teams currently at a pick at minus 105 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Hernandez, he is 0-1. Pitched four innings, gave up seven runs, and had three strikeouts. For Allen, he's 0-1. Pitched three innings, gave up four runs, and had three strikeouts. I mean, yeah, you know, there's zero value in this game here. Um, Kansas City's already looked pretty solid in this series. They've already got a couple wins uh, in this matchup. We'll take the Royals plus one and a half because they are the underdog here in this matchup. All right, next matchup, we have the Washington Nationals versus the Miami Marlins. Pitching for Washington is Josiah Gray with an ERA of 6.24. He's 0-2. Pitching for the Marlins is Eliza Hernandez with an ERA of 3.59. He is 1-2. Miami opening up as the favorite at minus 135. Washington plus 125 with the over-under at 8. The last start for Gray, he's 0-1. Pitched five innings. Gave up five runs and had five strikeouts. For Hernandez, he's 0-1. Pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had three strikeouts. Um, Yeah, you you know, I don't really love this matchup here, but Josiah Gray has been very bad here. Been giving up a lot of runs. Uh, He's given up 16 runs in his last three starts combined. Uh, That's a lot. Um, Don't love that at all. Um... Yeah, going to roll with the Marlins with uh, Josiah Gray on the mound for the Nationals. Next matchup, we have the Baltimore Orioles versus the Philadelphia Phillies. 
pitching for the Orioles is Keegan Aiken with an ERA of 6.93. He's 2 and 10. Pitching for the Phillies is Zach Wheeler with an ERA of 2.83. He's 14 and 9. The Phillies opening up as the favorite at minus 270. Baltimore plus 248 with the over under at 8. The last start for Aiken, he is 0 and 1. Pitched four innings, gave up four runs, and had zero strikeouts. For Wheeler, he is 1 and 0. Pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had six strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I like the Phillies here. Uh, you know, I do like Wheeler on the mound. Hopefully, the Phillies can hit a little better here. They haven't really been able to hit that great in this series so far. But uh, yeah, Keegan Aiken, hard to trust on the mound for the Orioles. Going to stick with the Phillies. Next matchup, we have the Texas Rangers versus the New York Yankees. Pitching for the Rangers is Taylor Hearn with an ERA of 4.32. He's 6-5. Pitching for the Yankees is Corey Kluber with an ERA of 3.68. He is 5-3. The Yankees opening up as the favorite at minus 265. Texas plus 245 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Hearn, he is 0-1. Pitched three innings, gave up seven runs, and had four strikeouts. For Kluber, he's 1-0. Pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, and had four strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I like the Yankees here. Taylor Hearn has not been good on the mound. He's given up 13 runs in his last three starts combined. I mean, that's a lot of runs here. Um, Yeah, going to roll with Kluber and the Yankees. All right, next matchup, we have the New York Mets versus the Boston Red Sox. Pitching for the Mets is Tyler Magwell with an ERA of 4.57. He is 3-5. Pitching for the Red Sox is Chris Sale with an ERA of 2.40. He is 4-0. Boston opening up as the favorite at minus 192. The Mets plus 145 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Magwell, he's 0-1. Pitched three innings, gave up six runs, and had three strikeouts. For Sale, he is 1-0, pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had one strikeout. Um, yeah, you know, I like Boston in this matchup here. Um, the Mets have just not been playing very good here. They have not looked good at all. Chris Sale has been really good on the mound for Boston here. I'm going to roll with the Red Sox. Next matchup, we have the Minnesota Twins versus the Chicago Cubs. Pitching for the Twins is Joe Ryan with an ERA of 2.12. He's 1-1. One one. Pitching for the Cubs is Kyle Hendricks with an ERA of 4.81. He's 14-6. and six. Uh, Both teams currently in a pick at minus 105 with the over-under at 8. The last start for Ryan, he's 0-1. Pitched 5 innings, gave up 1 run, and had 5 strikeouts. For Hendricks, he's 0-1. Pitched 3 innings. Gave up seven runs and had one strikeout. I mean, don't really love this matchup here. There's zero value in this game. But, uh, yeah, you know, Joe Ryan's looked really good on the mound for the Twins here. Um, I mean, he's only given up four runs in his last three starts. I mean, that's really great. Hendricks has given up 14 runs in his last three starts. That's a lot of runs here. And a game with no value. We'll roll with the better pitcher. We're going to roll with the Twins. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Colorado Rockies. Pitching for the Dodgers is Walker Bueller with an ERA of 2.39. He's 14-4. Pitching for the Rockies is Yerman Marquez with an ERA of 4.11. He is 12-10. Dodgers opening up as the favorite at minus 180. Colorado plus 170 with the over-under at 10.5. The last start for Bueller, he's 0-1. Pitched six innings. Gave up three runs and had five strikeouts. For Marquez, he's 1-0. Pitched four innings. Gave up six runs and had one strikeout. Both teams have been playing really good here in their last 10 games, but uh, I trust Bueller more on the mound, and I trust the Dodgers more in this matchup. You know, Bueller's had a a rough last couple games here, giving up a good bit of runs, but um, I think he should be able to get back to normal here and pitch great like he has been all season. I'm going to stick with the Dodgers. Next matchup, we have the Houston Astros versus the Los Angeles Angels. Pitching for Houston is Luis Garcia with an ERA of 3.30. He's 11-7. Pitching for the Angels is Jansen Junk with an ERA of 2.25. He's 0-1. 
Houston opening up as the favorite at minus 210. The Angels plus 190 with the over-under at 9.5. The last start for Garcia, he's 1-0. Pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had two strikeouts for Junk. He's 1-0. Pitched four innings, gave up one run, and had two strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Junk's looked pretty good in his last two starts, his only two starts of the season here, but, uh, you know, the Angels really just have not looked that great in this series. Uh, Houston's been hitting the ball really well here in their last few games here, and they've hit really good against L.A., Um, you know, and I like Garcia on the mound here. I'm going to roll with the Astros. Next matchup, we have the Atlanta Braves versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Pitching for the Braves is Ian Anderson with an ERA of 3.75. He's 7-5. Pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 4.41. He's 7-10. Atlanta opening up as the favorite at minus 181. Arizona plus 171 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Anderson, he's 0-1. Pitched five innings, gave up four runs, and had seven strikeouts. For Kelly, he's 0-1. Pitched four innings, gave up four runs, and had one strikeout. I mean, you know, rolling with the Braves here. You know, I like Ian Anderson on the mound. They've already looked really good in this series. Arizona's been playing very bad baseball here. And, um, yeah, you know, going to stick with the Braves in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the Seattle Mariners versus the Oakland Athletics. Pitching for Seattle is Chris Flexen with an ERA of 3.66. He is 12-6. and six. Pitching for Oakland is Cole Irvin with an ERA of 3.94. He's 10 and 13. Oakland opening up as the favorite at minus 133. Seattle plus 123 with the over under at 8.5. The last start for Flexen, he's 1 and 0. Pitched five innings, gave up one run and had three strikeouts. For Irvin, he's 1 and 0. Pitched six innings, gave up one run and had three strikeouts. Um, yeah, this one's not much of a pitching advantage here. Um, you know, Seattle's already looked pretty solid in this series here. You know, I'm going to roll with Seattle plus one and a half. All right, next matchup, we have the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Pitching for Toronto is Ross Stripling with an ERA of 4.5. He is 5-6. and six. Pitching for the Rays is Michael Wacha with an ERA of 5.56. He's 3-5. and five. Tampa Bay opening up as the favorite at minus 116. Toronto minus 105 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Stripling, he's 0-1. Pitched three innings, gave up one run, and had two strikeouts. For Wacha, he is 0-1. Pitched six innings, gave up six runs, and had five strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I like Toronto on the as the underdog play again. Uh, you know, you know, Watch has given up some runs here. Hasn't looked all that great in his last couple starts on the mound. Should be a fun series. Really could go either way. And I'm probably going to lean with the underdog in this series for the most part. Going to take Toronto plus one and a half. Next matchup, we have the St. Louis Cardinals. St. Louis Cardinals versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Pitching for the Cardinals is Miles Mikolas with an ERA of 4.50. He's 1-2. Pitching for the Brewers is Brett Anderson with an ERA of 4.18. He is 4-8. Milwaukee opening up as the favorite at minus 125. St. Louis plus 100 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Mikolas. He's 1-0. Pitched 5 innings. Gave up 0 runs and had 3 strikeouts. For Anderson, he's 1-0. Pitched two innings, gave up zero runs, and had two strikeouts. Um, Man, just St. Louis, they are just on a crazy streak. They are just playing unbelievable baseball here. And uh, getting St. Louis as the underdog here, they've already looked really good in this series so far. Um, I'm going to take St. Louis plus one and a half here. I mean, they've just been been playing really great baseball, and uh, they're looking really awesome here. So let's let's ride the hotness and take St. Louis. Then the last matchup on the board, we have the San Francisco Giants versus the San Diego Padres. Pitching for the Giants is Logan Webb with an ERA of 2.79. He's 10 and 3. Pitching for the Padres is Pierce Johnson with an ERA of 3.21. He's 3 and 3. The Padres opening up as the favorite at minus 135. San Francisco plus 110 with the over under at 7.5. The last start for Webb, he is 1 and 0. 
pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, and had nine strikeouts. For Johnson, he's 0-1, pitched one inning, gave up two runs, and had two strikeouts. Yeah, I mean, God, I'm gonna take the I'm just gonna take the Giants. Anytime they're plus money, I'm taking them every single time. Especially against the Padres in this series. I just the fact that you can get the Giants plus money here, I mean I, I'm gonna take that every time here. I'm gonna roll with the Giants plus one and a half here. You know, I like them on the money line as well. And that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Wednesday, and I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.